Welcome back to Biomes. This time we were talking about Tasmania. So Tasmania is this island right off the southern coast of Australia. Like most islands, Tasmania is fairly isolated, so it has had a very, very large chance to evolve some very unique wildlife that is mostly found only on the island, or if it is found other places, it's probably Australia, which is very close to Tasmania. Tasmania is rather large for an island, honestly, and it does have quite a variety of different biomes within it, so I'm just going to be going over the island itself in a more broad sense. It has some very unique plants. Like Australia, it does have a good variety of eucalyptus forests, as well as more grassland areas, with the main grass being featured, this button grass up there. Most of the trees there are coniferous, meaning they don't drop their leaves or needles yearly, they just kind of stay evergreen throughout the entire year, and they are the only place that the pencil pine tree is found natively. And the only native deciduous tree left there is this one, the deciduous beech tree. Other deciduous trees are either introduced or have since gone extinct from the island. There are also a variety of other plant species other than trees and grasses, like this one, the tree fern, or this one, the Tasmanian mountain pepper. Tasmania is probably most famous for its very unique wildlife, including a wide variety of marsupials, including the very famous Tasmanian devil, a personal favorite of mine. I love these guys. There's also a few different species of bandicoots and bilbies, such as the Eastern Bard Bandicoot, which has made a feature on my Endangered Species Spotlight series. You can also find these guys, the Padamelon, which are similar to, but smaller than, kangaroos and wallabies. They are related, but they are different species. They're just basically small kangaroos and wallabies, but are different species, and I think they're adorable. There's also a variety of possum species, which are distinct from the American opossum, including this guy, the smallest type of possum in the world, the Tasmanian pygmy possum, which is so cute. And of course we have to give a honorable mention to the thylacine or the Tasmanian tiger wolf, the extinct marsupial of Tasmania. Shout out to them, very unfortunate. We also have some other mammals that aren't marsupials. We have animals that are the monotremes, the egg-laying mammals, including the echidna, and our very strange and well-known friend, the platypus. Quite a lot of Tasmania's diversity is made up of birds, including some raptors like the Tasmanian wedge-tailed eagle, which is also found in Australia, or the Tasmanian masked owl, a subspecies of masked owl that is only found in Tasmania. We also have another favorite of mine, the laughing kookaburra, one of my favorite birds. I love them. They are so cool. There's also a number of nightjar species, including this guy, the tawny frogmouth, another favorite of mine, very cool. There's also multiple native parrot species, including the green rosella, which is endemic to Tasmania, as well as a couple of the smaller surrounding islands. There's also four different endemic species of honey eater birds on the island, including this one, the yellow wattle bird, which is the largest of the endemic honey eater birds. There are also multiple small and rare endemic species, including this one, the 40 spotted pardalot, which is one of the rarest Australian birds and is only found in a very few specific areas in Tasmania. There's also many, many types of water birds there, including this guy, the little penguin, and a ton of seabirds and shorebirds, including gulls, petrels, gannets, cormorants, and this guy, the shy albatross. There's also a ton of different reptile and amphibian species, including this one, the Tasmanian tree frog, which is also endemic to the island, and a bunch of lizard species, such as the Tasmanian mountain dragon, a very cool looking one. There's also a ton of endemic invertebrates, such as the Tasmanian cave spider, which is the only species of its kind of genus, family, whatever, that's found outside of Chile, so there's a weird evolutionary split there. It's also reportedly one of the most primitive spiders, meaning that morphologically it's very, very similar to most of the ancestral spiders. It's the closest living spider that is morphologically close to the ancestral spiders, if that makes sense. There's also these guys, the Tasmanian mountain shrimp, 
which I didn't know was a thing until today, but they are very cool and very weird. Of course, there is a hell of a lot more biodiversity throughout the entire island, but it would take way longer than TikTok allows videos posted to go into all of that. So this is just a very, very brief overview about some of, in my opinion, the most interesting species on Tasmania.